Sweet. Okay, I took a couple things off the engine. One being the alternator's gone. The flag bracket's gone. The alternator bracket's gone. Um, I went over my friend Ed Frazier, and I've owned it, known Ed for, God, better part of 20, 22 years. And this old guy has got all kinds of tons of parts and weird things. I just never thought of looking there. But I go to Ed's and I says, hey, I need a, um, I need a dual groove short uh, motor pump GM dual groove pulley. And he says, well, go look out back. I'm looking around and looking around, and I, I couldn't find anything. I found plenty of singles, but nothing dual. And uh, he says, there's a 72 GMC motor out back. And wouldn't you know it, here's the rare dual pulley. 72 GMC truck. Dual pulley for a short water pump. And on the same engine was the intake mounted coil bracket. Both tabs, not one like the Willys tab. And uh, I'm looking and going, that's a freaking cool alternator bracket. And I'm looking at it again and going, I know what that is. Don's got one of these on his 55. Has no idea what it came off. This actually goes... Let me get you over there. This actually goes right here. And it puts the alternator outboard on a cast iron bracket on its own. And that's what I'm going to use. So no flag bracket, no over the engine bracket. The alternator will stick out a little bit, but not a whole hell of a lot. Um, when it comes to this, I remember someone asking me, why, why would you take something off that works? Like, you know, the upright one, where uh, it was over the intake and all that stuff. That's, that's fine and dandy, but the thing that gets me is I like original. And even old greasy, nasty, rusty original like this thing, this is actually, like I said, pretty rare. You don't just go out and buy this. I've only seen one on eBay in six months. And uh, I've got my pulley. I've got just about everything I need to put the front end together. And i got to get shorter bolts for over there, of course, to hold the water pump on. I've even got the shoe, or the handle, whatever you want to call it, to keep the alternator tight. This one goes on the four bolt. So i got my alternator off. i got my bracket. We're going to clean this stuff up tomorrow. Degrease it, sandblast it. And uh, paint it. It's not too bad. Now, now I really don't... Uh, need the dual groove pulley, but I'm going to use it anyway. Look at this. Perfect alignment with the back slot. That's awesome. I have my pulley, I have my belts, I have my other alternator bracket. That I didn't really need it, but that's a rare one. You know, go looking for a cast iron alternator bracket for a Chevy that bolts off the front bolt. The front head bolts. They're not easy to find. Um, Don says he's seen one. That's it. And it's on his car. And he wouldn't give it to me and he wouldn't take it off. I don't know why. But we're going to move the alternator from here over to here. Uh, I'm going to have this all off. So we'll clean that up and paint it. Um, like I said, shorter bolts. I don't know. We might be turning this thing over to uh, this weekend if I can get a, the exhaust cooking, you know. We get that exhaust done and we should be rocking. Shorten up the plug wires. No, we're damn close to starting this thing. Well, all I can say is, pray for it. Now, this is nice stuff. This is uh, interlocking V-belt material. You can make the, the belt as long as you want, as short as you want. The thing is, it's a neat design and everything. It's okay for one pulley. It's no good for vary for uh, multiple pulleys. If you had one pulley with four belts on it, you'll find that one will hook really nice, and the other two will be stretched out or just not tight enough. And it's good for one pulley though, so you could use it on a car. I'm going to use enough to uh, make a template, and then have the belt measured, and then I'll get a real belt for it. That's all. But hey, I could run it with this stuff. Isn't it? We're just bench testing stuff, you know. We were cranking on the engine. We needed a belt. There it is. See it? Just got home. Didn't have much time. I was at Ed's. Like I said, pulling this stuff off that engine. So, be ready for a video tomorrow, and uh, we'll get the stuff all cleaned up and black and olive drab green, and have a good night.